Hello, welcome back. This is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos and SOC Glitters, and this is my 25th vlog, so welcome back. Where did we leave off last week? I think uh, we were doing, trying to come up with new designs and stuff like that. I think that's what we were doing, so we're gonna pick up uh, from there, um, doing that today, so. <laughs> I noticed um, sales are starting to pick up for me. I hope they're picking up for you as well. Um, it's probably not gonna start getting too crazy till probably the end of the month, probably after Halloween. That's when people really start thinking about the holidays and then it's just going to be insane. And I hope it's going to be insane for you as well. I hope you're gathering up what you can and you're letting um, your customers know what your limits are for the holidays. Maybe some people gather all their all their um, custom orders now and then uh, they turn off their shop at the beginning of November. So, I mean, so that way they can get them worked on and, and done. If you guys remember that guide that I, I had made to surviving Christmas, I'll post it. I'll post it up there somewhere. <laughs> But I, I said what sells on Christmas and everything sells on Christmas. And so I haven't really noticed one of any particular thing being the most popular. I, I noticed just kind of a hodgepodge of all kinds of stuff that I have in my shop that people are buying. Now, I, I did notice uh, my Publi Witches Brews. A lot of them have sold and I'm only, I think I only have one slot left for that one. And then I think that's it for me for the Halloween season. So um, that's one of my big ones that I've been selling. But then other than that, it's been, like I said, a hodgepodge of everything. Sunsets, white and gold. I had gotten a big bulk order in that I'm gonna start on today. And then I have to get back with another customer who asked about another bulk order. order. So I need to do that. <laughs> But I went from, I think, 10 orders uh, last Monday, and then last Friday I ended with like 30 something orders. So <laughs> I guess I better, I guess I better get into gear and get these things done because it's, it's only gonna kind of progress from there, which I am extremely thankful for, guys. I, I'm very thankful that I can do this and, and that I can share it with you guys. And, I hope, I hope what I'm doing is helping. That, that's all I'm saying. Because I, I just wanna share um, in this with you guys. You know, I, I, don't, I don't mind sharing my customers with you. I don't, I don't mind sharing tips and stuff with you guys. So I, I really hope that what I'm doing is, is helping you guys. So. <laughs> but like I said, I have some bulk orders I'm gonna get started on with you guys today. And then we're gonna finish up some new designs that we we're working on from last week. So we better get in there and do that. <laughs> I have my coffee and I'm ready to wake, prep, and slay all day. Let's do this. Okay, so this is where we left off. Now I gave this thing like two coats of epoxy because whenever you're you know, gluing stuff down with Mod Podge, that stuff really tends to stick up. It's still a little lumpy here and there, but I think it's pretty good to go. I really like how that turned out. So my idea is to take either all three of these markers or one color. I'm not too sure. I do have my rubbing alcohol here in case I decide I don't like how it's looking. So we're just going to kind of, you know, go go from there. I don't really know which one to start with. Got to figure that out. Maybe one stripe up and around of each color. I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the purple here where there's more purple. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, let's try this out. Okay, so, so far I outlined the purple area with my purple metallic marker. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna slow it down and I'll do this side with you guys here. There we go. So I'm just taking it and I am outlining. Oh, I don't know if I like how I did that right there. I don't know if I like that, but that's okay. So I'm gonna take my 
my rubbing alcohol, spritz it, wipe it off. And then I can redo that part. So let's try this again. There we go. Okay, that's better. <laughs> all right, so far. All right, so now I'm gonna move on maybe to the blue. I'll do that one next. Put my cap back on here. Okay, now it's kind of hard to see. I'm trying to show you guys, but I did the outline of the blue. Now I'm gonna slow it down again and do this side. It's all like trying to figure out where you want to do it, like, do you want to align all that? I didn't really do that on the other one, so I'm not going to do that here. I'm just kind of keeping it a little close to the purple line that I did. I'm just kind of rolling it around like that. Looking pretty good so far, I think. Now, I don't know what I want to do with the silver, if I even want to use a silver. I'm a little nervous because I already made all the other lines, but this is just a trial run, right? If we don't like it, we just erase it, so it's not a big deal. I didn't know if I wanted to come along the outside or if I wanted to come into the middle here and, and draw a line there. I haven't decided yet. Maybe I'll do both. I, I don't know. I'm not really too sure. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make my line on the outside and see if I like it, and then we'll see. So I'm going to just... Go right over here and just kind of follow the lines, follow the path here. I know it's really faint to see because it's uh, silver. That's kind of what I have. I don't know. I don't, let me see what it looks like in the middle. I'll come up. I think it might be one of those things that I gotta go over twice because it's kind of hard to see the the lines here. I don't know. What do you guys think? Stripe on the outside, stripe on the inside. I'm not too sure. What do you think, Molly? It looks good. Okay. <laughs> Molly's here with me. So let's see. I'm gonna do a stripe here on the inside and see how that looks too. want to kind of go around just doing stripes I don't know I don't know if I like this one either that or I need to come back in and make it a little bit darker so I wiped all the silver off and now I'm trying out coming back through with just the gold and just kind of touching up areas here and there you know kind of adding some highlights here and there so we'll see how that turns out I don't know <laughs> This is what I did so far. I'm actually really liking that. It's kind of cool looking. I just went around the outside and just highlighted all the pieces that were outside of the blue. Like that. Maybe I'll come through and do the same thing kind of in between the purple and that. But for now, I think I'm going to come back through and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So that way it matches that side. So I'm going to kind of slow it down and, and do it with you guys here. So all I did was just follow right along the outside any little pieces that were hanging out oh no my kids are back inside okay that's this uh-oh uh-oh gotta check on the baby hold on all right, the baby's all right. <laughs> she was just a little frustrated about something, so I had to help her. Okay, let's finish this up. Pretty simple, right? Just kind of adding just a little bit more highlights to stuff. You can even come back through. There's some white parts that, I don't know if I like that. Might have to wipe that off, hold on. Well, I was going to say, you even come through, there's some parts that are white still that didn't get 
hit with the color. Oh, I think it just made it worse. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I'll we'll just kind of tidy that up just a little bit more. You don't want it such straight lines. I'll fix that. I'll fix that in a minute. Okay. So that's what I got so far. Yeah. I got to come back here and fix that. I don't like that. All right. I'm going to fix that real quick and then we'll get moving on. Maybe we'll add some more details on the inside as well. Okay. So I tidied that up. I'm going to try to come through and like I said, <laughs> I might have to redo this. I don't know. Hopefully it turns out okay. But I'm going to come back through and kind of add some more of the gold in the blue here. Sorry, my, my kid's yelling in the background. <laughs> so I'm going to go do that real quick. Let's see how that turns out. Yeah, I think I kind of just like how it is. I might, I think I'm just going to come back through and thicken up my uh, purple and blue lines, but I think, I think I pretty much like it how it is. I know sometimes, you know, people do, they'll do a stripe of glitter around it or whatever, but I just kind of wanted to highlight what I already had going. So I'm going to go ahead and thicken up my lines. Okay, so I thickened up my purple lines. I'm liking it. Now I'm just gonna thicken up my blue lines real quick and I'll kind of show you guys what I was doing here. I'm just coming through and just doing a double line, making sure I get all the way to the bottom. I'm just coming through and just making it a little bit thicker as you can see there. Just kind of brightening it up. It's okay if you come outside of it a little bit. Let's give it a little bit more character. hard not to stick my hand in it. <laughs> I'm gonna come from this way. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm gonna do the other side real quick. Okay, what do you guys think? Leave it as is. Should I add more to it? Is that good to go? What do you think? Now, I did do a coaster to match, but it did not turn out the way I wanted it to. The back looks great. I really liked how the back turned out. But the front just did not turn out the way I'd like it to turn out, but I don't know. I'm going to go with it. This is just a practice run, like I said, for especially the coaster. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of do what I did on the tumbler with this just to see. I don't know if I, if I like it, if I want to try it out again. So I'm just going to kind of, maybe it'll spruce it up. I don't, I don't know. Come through. Do my purple. I'm going to go ahead and do my double stripes now. Okay. Maybe it could have been a little bit further up. Like that. Could have left that open. That looked kind of cool too. However you guys want to do it. I'm going to come through and do my blue. Kids are just arguing in the background there. That's nice. <laughs> All right. Now, the gold isn't going to look like how the gold is here, but I don't know. Like I said, trial run. I'll just kind of try to mimic it a little bit. Try to outline some of this stuff at least. Maybe I'll... I don't know. I'll have to try this out again. Definitely didn't turn out like the tumbler but you know we can wipe that clean do something else with it I'm not too worried about it 
almost, not quite. <laughs> Maybe we'll come back to this next week. Okay, moving on. So I think I have an idea how to fix that coaster. I think I have an idea. So we'll definitely come back to that coaster next Sunday. All right, so here's my purple that I was showing you guys last week as well. I have it all nice and smooth and I don't know what to do with it yet. I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking Hydro Dip. That, that's what I'm thinking. So I'll have to find some colors that I think will go well with that and maybe we'll do some Hydro Dipping. Okay. Now I told you guys that I got a bulk order so I need to pull that. And um, what else? I'm going to do that Hydro Dip with that. I'm wearing, I'm wearing my, my paint here. <laughs> I got it on my forehead. But I'm going to... I, I know you guys remember that, but I made a coaster to match that. Pretty simple, pretty, pretty, pretty simple to do for that. I mean, I have a, I could put a tutorial together for that if you guys want to, but I mean, that's completely up to you. It was pretty simple to do. <laughs> I got a, um, I actually got a torch, a real torch. Look at me. Huh? Instead of a lighter, I got a torch. Now I have my blow dryer and my torch. Okay, so we're outside and I have my, my nifty thing here and I'm gonna, I, I want to, somebody's cutting a tree down for some reason right now. But I'm gonna hydro dip it. And I don't like when the paint gets on the inside. So this is what I do when I do my hydro dips. I'm gonna take my cap that coordinates with the tumbler. I'm gonna take a plastic bag. Squeeze that down and I'm gonna tuck it inside. This is a screw top lid, so. Try to get it as tight as I can in there. lid and then it has a little handles there so that way when I dip it I can just dip it pull it back out and no paint will be on the inside so I got my tumbler and I have my bucket of water here no matter what size tumbler that you are using you want to make sure that you'll be able to fully submerge your tumbler into your water if you've never done hydro dipping before that's pretty much the, the process here so I'm gonna get my paints and then we're gonna hydro dip so I think what I'm gonna use is just my basic white and I'm also going to use um, silver lilac, which is what I used on the base of my tumbler before I glittered it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So the first thing I want to do, shake up my paints really well. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to have your paints ready and you want to be able to just go back and forth with them as quick as you can. I'm gonna go ahead and spray these in real quick. I like mine to just kind of go like one inside of another, so that's what I'm gonna do. Hold on, there's some, there's some fuzz in there, hold on. Pull the little fuzzies out. Okay, that's good. All right, now let's paint. Okay, I think I like that. So I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna work very quickly. All I'm gonna do is turn my arm at a little bit of an angle and as I dip in and I'm gonna twist as I go in, get that water away and pull it back out. And there's my hydro dip. And then I'm gonna come back through and I'm gonna wipe some of these paints away after it dries. <sighs> Trying to get those, those water spots off there. <sighs> I'm not too worried about the water spots because they really honestly will kind of go away once the epoxy goes on. I'm just trying to get the really big ones off. All right, there we go. I'm gonna let that dry. I brought that inside and I lightly just pat it off with it like very just like that. That That's all you wanna do to kind of get those big drips off. Like I, like I said, I'm, I'm not too really concerned about it, but I'm gonna take the rest of my tissue here 
I'm just gonna clean up my bucket. So that way, if you wanna do any more hydro dipping, then you got yourself some more clean water or, you know, you just don't wanna pour all that into your grass. So I'm gonna scoop that out. Oh, my glove ripped. <laughs> Tuck it inside my glove, throw it away, dump my bucket, and then we'll wait for that to dry. Okay, while I was out there hydro dipping, I went ahead and prepped my uh, bulk order that I have to do. I have so many tumblers sitting in front of me. <laughs> I have a lot to do. <laughs> but um, this is all dry, nice and dry. It dries relatively quick. I'm going to go ahead and take my lid off here. Take that out. Save my bag for another time. Put my lid over there. Now... I want to um, just kind of wipe some stuff away. As you can see, some of it did peel up from the bag, but that's okay. Not, not a big deal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, my acetone. I just, I just use uh, nail polish remover. And then I'm just going to go with the flow of the dips that I have here. Okay, so I'm going to do that real quick. All right, so this is what I have so far. Pretty nice. I'm just gonna come through and I'm going to just clean it up with rubbing alcohol. I'm using, um, I can't remember the percentage of alcohol I'm using, but I'm gonna come through and just finish cleaning up all these areas so that way I can see the paint really well, clean up any little smudges and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, and this is what I have. I don't know how I'm gonna end it yet. We'll have to wait and see. I think I'm gonna put a coat of epoxy over it before I do anything else, for sure. So, again, we'll continue this next Sunday. Okay, have the, I have these all prepped. These are just going to be a basic um, white and um, Oh my gosh, <laughs> a basic white and uh, gilded rose. There we go. Good God, I'm tired, guys. <laughs> uh, white and gilded rose ombre. Uh, I'm probably going to come up kind of far because that's all they want on it. And then they want just a little decal on it because these are for a uh, breast cancer fundraiser. So I have to get those done. I'll show you guys what those look like next week. I'm not going to show them to you guys this week. And then obviously I have all my other work I got to do. I actually cleaned out my area. I'm pretty proud of myself. I cleaned, I tidied up. There's there's that guy waiting in the background there. I got all my stuff organized. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy. You know, I'm, I still have some more stuff I gotta get straightened out here. And there's some areas in here that I need to desperately reorganize. But like I said, I'm gonna be working on the rest of these today, so. Oh. And I went to Harbor Freight and I got some new uh, tools here, uh, util util ugh, utility blades, a new knife set because that's what I use here. But yeah, I got all that stuff. And I also got this uh, glove holder. It's magnetized, so I can just take it down. It has magnets on the back. That was pretty cool. I'm trying to think how much that was. It was like $14, I think. And I also got these, those are magnetized as well. So now I have my own paper towels in here and I got all kinds of hooks and clips and stuff. Cause you know, I hang things up here, here and there. So yay for not Hobby Lobby, Harbor Freight. Did I say Hobby Lobby? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think we got a pretty good start again on uh, some more stuff in there. You guys let me know what you think of that. Um, what was it? Rock Candy Geode. Did that look okay? Should I do something else to it? I'm not going to do anything with it until you guys let me know. 
I, I want to know. I asked my husband, he said he really liked it. I really like how that uh, hydro dip's turning out too, so, you know, I <laughs> I had another thing in, in my head as I was doing the hydro dip that I kind of wish I would have done before I did the hydro dip, but hey, it's all good. <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll save that for um, a tutorial or something, the other thing that I was thinking of. But I have my afternoon drink. It's an absolutely beautiful day today perfect day for sitting outside it's kind of like a slight cool breeze not too cold but cooler than normal I guess cooler than 110 you know <laughs> but it feels pretty nice out but I have a lot that I have to finish up and I still have to get the kids ready for school tomorrow and cook dinner and all that other jazz so I think I'm gonna let you guys go for today if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more tips vlogs, tutorials I have coming your way and I will see you guys next time. Bye.